Hey guys, it's Steve again. Now, I bought myself a Festool sword saw uh, with, the, with the vision of um, uh, being able to cut, you know, up to 60 degree angles on thick materials. Um, not so much the 40, uh, sorry, the 90 degrees, but you know, I thought it would be fine for that. But the question was, I've, there's not many videos on it. There's only one by Festool, which is a, you know, a promotional one where the cutting looks like, looks like the cutting actually green wood. Um, and I don't know whether I'm pushing the boundaries of it, wanting it to for furniture making. I think I may be. Um, I've only got 10 inch blades, the, the maximum I have on any blade that I have. I've got the TS 75 saw, which I mentioned I can cut up to probably 70 millimeters on the rail. But um, anyway, I thought I'd give it a try. Um, I'm not sure yet. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do, this is the initial test. Um, and holding the camera while I do it and all that's a bit difficult, but I'll show you more the results of it. So if we come around here, look, it's a lovely sunset tonight. Wow, as you can see, there's the wife's washing. But look at the sunset tonight, it's really kind of orange. But never mind, here we go. So here's the sword saw. Now, here is the edge. Now this is whether I use the rail. It's on a, I've cut a 60 degree, as you can sort of see, as, this is with the hose on. <laughs> Look at the mess everywhere. <laughs> That's with the hose. Um, you really have to have these because when you cut on the angle, they get in the way. So I can imagine, but the good thing about this, this uh, pistol grip is you can spin it around when you've got it locked down to keep it out of the way of the blade when it's cutting this way, like so. Now this is only cut with the regular blade, and Jesus, it's chewed it up something fierce. Um, I'm not sure that was the the, um, the the thinking that was going to happen, especially with a rail. I, I thought I wasn't going to get any of this breakout, but I'm getting severe breakout, as as what I thought I might have gotten from um, uh, from something like this. So I would say if one did it, you would have to. Do all your miters first and then plane the top to sort of get rid of all that splintering. Um, but mind you, uh, Vic Ash is a hard timber and it's a very splintery timber in its nature. But um, here's the unit and I can go into the unit a bit more detail a little bit later. I'm just experimenting at the moment. Um, that's the regular blade which is on it and so far I'm not too impressed for what I'm wanting it for. I'm not sure if it's the right choice. I really, at this stage, it probably will be going back, but I'm going to try the fine blade. So the question was, was is this going to be suitable for doing, um, well, look, I'll do the background of the sunset. <laughs> the thing was, is it going to be suitable for doing furniture? Hmm. Standard blade, unless you want a really rough finish. Now, obviously I can clean that up, and I need to sort of experiment with that bit, but the trouble is it's ripped out the top of the surface of it. Now, um, that, that I'm pretty disappointed about. Um, I thought it might have, with the, the rail, it might have actually um, uh, stopped that. I might have to experiment putting a new um, a new piece of tape down the side and resetting, but I think it rips the guts out of that anyway. Um, all right, so I'm, this is gonna be a part one and part two. So there's part one, thinking of it. I'll go into it a bit more detail, but I'll just show you some initial stuff. All right, guys. Thanks, see ya.